If you get any value from this or any of my videos and want to support me, please consider donating to my Patreon page at the link below. Computers are everywhere. We've become so reliant on them that we can't operate our day-to-day -day lives without them. And it's terrifying to think that a single computer virus can erase our entire digital lives in an instant. But I've always believed that the more you understand a threat, the better you can protect yourself from it. So let's take a closer look at how these virtual plagues work. The question that intrigues me the most is how do viruses spread from one computer to another? In 1971, a group of researchers wrote some experimental code to see if they could get a program to clone itself. The result was the first ever computer virus called the Creeper, and it displayed this on their victims' computers. Self-replicating programs like this are now known as Quines. Basically, it's a program that makes a copy of itself without any input. How do I know? Because this Wikipedia page told me. And it goes on to list some excellent examples of Quines in all the popular programming languages. So you can go to this link to find out. But let's look at a more practical example by making our own self-replicating program. To do this, I'm gonna be using Python. Why Python? Because it's simple. And I like simple. If you don't know Python, you can get a crash course by watching this video for how to make a Python keylogger. All right, let's continue. With Python installed, create a folder on your desktop called Replicator. Then open up Notepad and type this and save it as payload.txt to your folder. This is what our program will launch. So now let's make a program that will launch it. In a new notepad window, type import OS to import the OS Python library. It will let us access Windows functions such as the command prompt and pass it whatever we want. For instance, if we were to open up a command prompt and navigate to our folder, we could type in start payload.txt and it would launch our file. So let's create a variable called cmd and set it equal to that command. Now we can pass this to our function. Now save it as replicator.py and in the command prompt type start replicator.py. Great, now it does something, but how can we get it to replicate? Well, now that we know how to push it terminal commands, it's actually kind of simple. Now, just to clarify, this method technically isn't a quine, but it will self-replicate this program to other locations. Okay, for our test replication, let's make a new directory called clone. Next, let's copy our payload to it. You can pass it commands by putting an R in front of it. Now let's copy the Python script. You could just type a copy virus.py command, but instead let's find the script name programmatically. We can do this using a library called argv. The argv library passes to us what was typed in the terminal to launch the script, including the name of the script itself. So we can extract that by pulling out the first value from the argv and storing it as a variable. Now we can just concatenate that variable into our command. Saving it and running it from the command line will show the payload and will clone the virus files to that new directory. Now go grab a cup of tea and revel in the fact that you just made your own self-replicating program. This is just a very basic example, but it's a starting point for making your own self-replicating program. If you want to go a step further and learn how to launch it from a batch file, hide it in a browser shortcut, and copy it to a different computer on a network, then you can click here to view a slightly more advanced tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please support me by liking, commenting, or donating to my Patreon page. Also click here to watch last time's tutorial and comment show. And until next time, hopefully I'll find out what to say at the end of my videos.